Alright, I'm kind of late to the party, but it doesn't matter. Chat GPT. The trend is kind of still there. It might have died down, but better late than ever, I guess. So, in this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to use Chat GPT. It's going to be a basic tutorial, whether you've used it before or you've never used it at all. In this video, I'm going to tell you guys how to get access to Chat GPT. I'm also going to teach you how to use it first we need to do go to openai.com scroll down to the footer and then right here click on chat gpt and then right here you'll see what chat gpt is all about right here you click on try chat gpt right here and then what it will do it will actually ask you to log in to your OpenAI account. If you already have one, then you can log in and you'll get access to the screen. But if you haven't, then you can just sign up, make an account. It's pretty easy. Just need an email address, password, then I think verification and that's it. So when you click on ChatGPT, or sorry, when you click on try ChatGPT, it'll take you to this screen. It'll be light screen. So if you want to put it into dark mode, you come here and just click on this and it should turn it into dark mode. So what is it all about? Well, ChatGPT is pretty simple, right? It's essentially an AI model used to answer questions or give certain, I guess, things in a conversational way. So we can ask ChatGPT like, who are you? And it should probably give us what it is. There we go. I am ChatGPT, an AI language model developed by OpenAI. And that's it right there. So this would be you, which would be your question. Who are you? And then this is the AI model right here. To the left, you have the history. This is where your old conversations with the AI will be. So keep that in mind. Um, if you click on new chat, then you can just create a brand new chat right here. And it will be in the history. If you want to clear this, you can just click on clear conversations then confirm and it's gone so let's do something else with it let's ask it right a two paragraph essay on steve jobs let's ask to do that and as you can see i write it for you Steve Jobs was an American entrepreneur, inventor, and designer who co-founded Apple Inc. He was born on February 24th, oh, that's in 20 days time, 1955, and grew up in California. And there we go. I asked it to give me two paragraphs, and it did exactly that. Incredible. So that's why you use ChatGPT. You just ask it a question or ask it to do something, and it will respond. However, you have to be specific because sometimes if it's fake, it may not give you what you want or it will just tell you that, you know, I'm sorry, I can't answer that, yada, yada, yada. So let's ask it something else. Let's say, like this example, got any creative ideas for a 10 year old's birthday and you'll list it out. A scavenger hunt, a science theme party, you name it. There we go. It, got, it gave us eight ideas for a 10 year old's birthday party. Incredible. Now let's ask it for some help. Let's say we want to start a YouTube YouTube channel and become successful. How do I start a successful YouTube channel? And there you go. Identify your niche, create consistent brand, plan and create high quality content, promote your channel, optimize your video, consistency is key, engage with your audience, and monetize your channel. And it takes time, dedication. If you produce high quality content, you get to the audience. It's correct. Now, let me just say, and even right here it says, may occasionally generate incorrect information. Now, this is true. It's not always correct. It's an AI model after all. So it's not going to give the best answers all the time. And of course, it also has limited knowledge of world and events after 2021. So yeah, it's not always going to be correct and its knowledge is quite limited. But OpenAI are going to create a new model coming soon. So everything is all good. All right, let's talk about code. ChatGPT write code. Well, if you watch my previous video, then you know that yes, you can. Let's 
ask it to create a countdown timer in Python. So we can just say create a countdown timer in Python starting from 10. There's a simple code snippet that creates a countdown timer in Python starting from 10. And there you go. Explanation imports. See, it even gives you an explanation like precise. And that's the beauty. It answers it like a human. It gives you the code right here. Gives you an explanation. Sometimes it may not, sometimes it may. And yeah, here's our code. So do you want to see if it works? Let's see. Let's copy this code. Paste it in there. If we run 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Time's up. There we go. To me, it's not that correct because I think after 1, it shouldn't display 0, which means we should remove this equal sign. So if you actually run it again, it should actually work. 2, one there we go perfect so as you can see that's an example of it not being so accurate but at least it gave us what we want which is a countdown countdown timer that starts from 10 and it gave us the time module which is epic all right let's do some html let's ask it to create a html document that all right let's say with java script that turn text red when i click a button it is spell javascript oh no it's not in capital all right send so let's see if you can do that and give us the code there's a function Scrape head JavaScript function turn red is defined head and it just explains it. Yeah, let's see if this works. So I'm gonna copy this code, paste it into the JavaScript right here. I'm gonna copy this. So if we open a new tab, it us this, click the button to turn red. There you go, it turns red. But it's not that styled. It looks Dull. Let's ask ChatGPT to style it. All we need to do is just say, Can you style it? Please. Sure. There's an updated version of HTML document, some basic styling. So now it's going to style it up. Make it look nice and pretty. There we go. Same thing, but with styling. So now if we do this, copy, paste in the CSS, press the B, so text button, I think the ID text is right there, there we go, so go to a new tab, and ask, what the <laughs> okay, ah, well that sucks, show known, font size 20, text line center, did that, Button though, jeez, it's not your background color. We're gonna have to do it ourselves, but yeah, that's when it's kinda screws up itself. That's how it goes, so yeah, it makes mistakes. But yeah, let's chat GPT. I mean, you can also tell it to make a rap song about. Make a rap song about Python. It does it. I was just a simple language trying to get my chance, and then I evolve. And now I'm known to take the dance from scripting to take AI. I've got a range making things happen. With just a simple change. Python, Python, yeah, I'm the king making colleagues easy. Like, it's just a fling. Wow. And it actually made a, a song. So you need to get it done. Just call on me with Python by your side. You'll always be set free making a complex a piece of cake with my power. There's no code that you can't. What the? Yo, that's bars. Anyway, that's it. Chat GPT tutorial 2023 and don't forget to subscribe peace